I am shocked. This is the beauty of the diversity. I'm so excited to try everything. guys welcome back to my channel welcome to dramatically expatic we're in bolzano today another fantastic destination in northern italy another must-see destination in northern italy you can probably tell by now it's a lovely city surrounded by the mountains although i have to admit that my attempt at escaping the heat wave in bologna failed miserably it's 40 degrees here today and the air is literally hot but this will not stop me from exploring the city and showing it to you. So without further ado, let's go with me. Let's explore Bolzano together. There are water fountains everywhere and also they look really cute and yeah this is definitely a lifesaver when it's so hot so i'm so thankful that you can find them in most italian cities guys look how cool this place is there is this bike lane near the river with all these views and i suppose that it goes all the way there so i think it might be circular but even if it's not fantastic would that be to go on a you know bike ride with these views and with the river nearby i'd love it honestly I am shocked. Everything here is written in two languages. Street names, uh, road signs, ads, shop names, everything here is written in both Italian and German. And I honestly think this is absolutely fascinating. I love it. According to the official census, uh, people speak three languages here. The locals speak three languages. The majority is said to be uh, speaking Italian, and then about 25% uh, speak German, and then a small percent speak uh, the local dialect, Ladino. However, I know that actually there are more people who speak it. Maybe they do not uh, speak Ladino in their everyday life. However, most of them understand it. And when I was here several years ago, I was presented with a dictionary of the local dialect. That was that huge. Can you just imagine? Obviously, guys, I could not avoid trying local food. And what could be more local than a dish of Verstal? I think this is so typical here. Do you remember my vlog from Rovereto one year ago when I made a little comparison between uh, Northern Italy and this area in particular and Austria? Some of you were a little bit upset about it. However, excuse me, this seems like traditional Italian food, isn't it? I think it's quite similar to Austria. This part is still quite similar to Austria, but I think it's beautiful because this is the beauty of the diversity. Italy is a diverse country and this is absolutely amazing that this country is so rich in culture that it can take the best from the neighboring countries and then spice it all up with Italian love and passion. You've heard it all before, honest but I know, uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old, still care for the void. Oh. Guys, imagine 1925, Bolzano. A pastry chef has a huge dream to become an entrepreneur. And he starts his own business by buying a bakery where he used to work before. This is 
how the story of Locker started. Locker is the world famous waffle from Bolzano and today almost a hundred years after the first uh, owner of the brand bought his first bakery there is a huge uh, factory of uh, Locker waffle near Bolzano. I'm not going there today however you can book a workshop there although you cannot have a visit there but I'm going to take you to the Locker cafe which is a, a pastry shop pasticceria here in Bolzano where you can have some tasty coffee and of course the traditional Locker waffle let's go with me Guys, the choice here is so huge. You can just like you have the shop before with all the typical and also special uh, waffles, the speciality waffles, and also then you have the bar where you can choose among thousands of desserts. Really, there are so many of them: various cakes and pancakes and waffles and different desserts. And also, I think there is something savory as well. However, we opted for desserts today, and also typical coffee. You know, I love coffee, and you know that. I love uh, specialty coffee. So here we're trying Napolino, which is a type of cappuccino with a traditional uh, low care Napolitaner cream and Caramelino, which is cappuccino with caramel basically. But still, it's not something that you find uh, anywhere in Italy. So I would say this is a speciality today. I'm so excited to try everything. Look at the Duomo of Bolzano, how beautiful is it, but also how different is it from all other churches that you can see around Italy or that we've seen so far in other uh, cities and towns around Italy. The style, the architecture is completely different. It's in, it was built in a Gothic style and you can really not find too many Gothic architecture symbols around Italy. But I think this is so fantastic that you can travel around the country and see all of these different uh, styles, all of these different architecture styles and also traditions and culture. And as I said, there are so many people here, even though it's summer, you know, it's not like a ski season, it's uh, basically the, the, the beach season, but still there are so many tourists who opt to go to the mountains and who choose Bolzano in their vacation destination because the city is incredibly rich in history and culture and art. And I love it. I love that there are so many people who appreciate it. If you know me guys, you know that I can never miss a particular cool contemporary art museum if there is one in the city. So let's go and check out the Contemporary Art Museum of Bolzano. Guys, the museum is absolutely spectacular. This staff is so friendly and welcoming. If you are interested enough, they will show you around. They will tell you all about the exhibitions. And the exhibitions are fantastic. And also, as you could see, you can also participate in uh, piece of art. I loved it so, so much. Also, on Thursday, after 6 p.m., you can enter there for free. That's 
it for today guys i love it bolzano i'm definitely coming back here once again because one day is not enough at all i would highly recommend you to check this place out and also to stay here a couple of days at least so you can explore the city well all the museums there is also an archaeological museum that is definitely worth visiting maybe next time but also all the hiking trails and everything else around if you are not convinced yet guys in this region there is the biggest concentration of castles in the whole europe so this place is definitely worth your attention and i hope that you might feel inspired to come here as well if you're new here guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button down below to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos and as always please like comment and share this video with your friends so i can make more videos like this Thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day.